tell you a story. Let me tell you a story. I've mentioned this before. You know, I've asked you guys before. Have Have you guys ever talked to, uh, you know, Zionists, Mossad agents, uh, supremacists, uh, Israelis, or anything like this, just to get a perspective of who they are, what they are? I've I've talked to a few. I've talked to a few. I've had a few when I was working in a cigar store. One of them, he was an ex Mossad agent, or so he said. He was a fucking fanatic, lunatic, right? Nobody liked him. Nobody liked him. He he he, he called in front of everyone. This is back in 2000, 2001. In front of everyone, we're talking. There was a judge there. There's Chinese business people there. He he, he would turn. He would talk about Middle East and call Palestinians dogs, like dogs, and everyone would stay quiet. They would laugh because they thought it was a joke. Everybody hated this fucker, right? Uh, I treated him the same way I would treat anyone that came into the store where I was working at because I was working there and I treat everyone equally, right? But I would argue with him, right? I would challenge him, right? So that's one person I used to talk to. I won't even talk about some of the other shit that the guy said, right? But one time, how many years ago? Probably around 10 years ago. I was uh, at a dinner table at family, extended family member's house. Uh, they're Jewish. They had an Israeli uh, visitor, okay, f- part of the family. And she was with IDF. She, I don't think she was with Mossad, but she was definitely, her kids were soldiers in the IDF. Everybody goes through the IDF. And Golan Heights came up, right? And I, this is only one time during this conversation. So Golan Heights came up, stuff like this. I said, listen, Israel's in trouble. This is like 10 years ago, right? I said, Israel's going down a dark road. It's not going to end well for Israel. And she was like, oh, yes, Israelis stand by together. We've been, uh, people have tried to genocide us. And I go, listen, you guys are occupying other people's lands and you're treating other human beings like garbage okay that's not gonna last you can't do that oh israel's very powerful we can defend ourselves i go look you're like so many million people surrounded by like one billion muslims you have to you have to treat other people with respect this is um and i kept on telling you look i'm telling you this from someone that gives a shit about you guys because you're part of my my extended family like I, I don't want to see bad things happen to you and to Israel because that affects you. You like what part of look, don't fucking genocide people. I go look at what you guys are doing the Golan Heights. You're occupying the Golan Heights, right? This is before Trump gave the Golan Heights to Israel. What the fuck is that shit? Right? So all those Trump lovers, what the hell man? Right? And she's like, Well, and this is a time when Obama was waging a covert over war on Assad. So Syria was most Israel, Mossad, with ISIS proxies and the United States and Turkey and the UK and Saudi Arabia and Qatar were waging war against Syria at the time. It was really hot. There was a lot of people dying and shit like this, right? So I said, look, that's Syrian land that belongs to Syria. You guys have settlements. And the reason you're doing it is because you control the water and stuff like this, blah, 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 blah. There's water issues there. She turned to me. She said this. Do you think the people living in the Golan Heights would want to be part of Israel now? There's war in it. Uh, part of Syria now. There's war in Syria now. Look what's happening in Syria now, right? All I, she's telling me this. She says, if you, if you go to the Golan Heights and ask anyone, they'll love to be part of Israel, right? Because Israel is in peace. We protect them. I was like, and this is after like fucking, I don't know how long of a conversation, like an hour conversation we're having about this, right? I was trying to explain to them, look, man, this is, they couldn't get their fucking heads out of their fucking Zionist asses to extrapolate beyond the immediate, right? To realize what I was trying to tell them, that at some point, the technology that they have is not going to be superior to the technology of the surrounding area because what Israel's philosophy was we're going to attack anywhere where missiles can hit us so what was happening was Israel kept on expanding the territory that they were strike without realizing that at some point that those range of missiles that are going to hit them 
are going to come from a place that they will not be able to fucking reach. So they have to do the calculus, extrapolate out, and realize that their only out is to make peace with people. And they didn't do it. And they're not going to do it, right? Until that leash on that mad dog, right, is pulled and that dog is put back in the kennel.